The patient in this case was a 57-year-old woman, previously well, with an unremarkable past medical history. She was diagnosed with a 4-centimeter, poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma consistent with an intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma. During the period of investigation, the tumor grew to compress the middle hepatic vein from above and pressed against the left and right hepatic veins. In order to spare as much liver as possible, and because the left lobe was relatively small, an extended left hepatectomy with reimplantation of the right lobe via in situ cold perfusion was planned. The planned transection will remove segments 1, 2, 3, and 4, and portions of 7 and 8. Upon reaching the right hepatic vein during transection, a cannula will be inserted into the remaining stump of the left portal vein. The right hepatic artery and common bile duct will be controlled with a Rommel clamp. The main portal vein will be clamped, as will the infrahepatic vena cava. The confluence of the middle left hepatic vein will be divided at the cava. The accessory 6-7 vein will be divided and the suprahepatic vena cava will then be controlled. With total vascular exclusion of the liver achieved, the right hepatic vein will be stapled at the cava and divided proximally. Following transection of the right hepatic vein within the parenchyma and removal of the specimen, ice-cold HTK solution will be perfused via the cannula and sterile iced saline placed around the right lobe remnant. By maintaining a hypothermic state in the liver, ischemic injury is minimized. The accessory 6-7 vein and right hepatic vein will require reconstruction to re-establish hepatic outflow.